Hi there, we're at Kelly Miller Arts in Brighton, UK, and we have got not just an exciting exhibition, but we've got, I'm just ecstatic to be able to introduce you to our end of the exhibition called The Imaginarium. And um, what we've done is not only to make our window in with lots of different sort of artists, sort of props and um, muses, but really what they use in terms of still lights. And so some of them can be a bit quirky and some of them can be a bit, um, well, odd even, but these are the things that actually inspire some of the artists to produce from their imagination. So the whole concept of the Imaginarium is the space that lots of artists occupy. You can start to talk about it in terms of uh, sort of dreaming and sort of daydreaming and, you know, evoking that imagination and having different objects and different ideas and then that's all sort of put onto the surface and brings out in, 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 its explosion in, in terms of their creativity. So come with me this way. So I'd like to just introduce and take you through some of the exhibitions and some of the artists work. So we've got here, we've invited uh, Sabina Piper. Sabina Piper, she tends to use a lot of historical references in her work. She's uh, predominantly inspired by women, strong women, and she uses uh, mixed media. So it's a combination of painting, a combination of drawing. She even uses things like oil and fabric and um, these lovely sort of metallic dots that seem to sort of emerge and bring her works all together. And then we'll we go down, if you follow me downstairs, because it's where the main event happens, is downstairs. So if you come with me, I can tell you more about the various artists that we have on display. So this is our bit of our, our part of our imagination. It's got an amazing feel down to our space. So you, so you come this way, come this way. So we've got hair and we've got Steve Fricker's work. Now we've been representing Steve Fricker since about 2017. And yeah, again, yeah, we've got another one of Sabina's here. And then Steve's, for me, is about invention. A lot of artists can cross over to these sort of, um, what I call sort of gray areas, where they can occupy either science or they can occupy the invention. And I can imagine Steve as a child just wanting to uh, play and collect. As I think most of us as children, we have that sort of collector spirit. And whatever it is, whether it's stickers we collect, whether it's little toys, whether it's trains. And I just think some of what, what evokes to me about Steve's work is a sense of this inventor. You know, I can always imagine him being a sort of, if he had a different path in life, being an inventor. But he's, he's, just, he's just a master of how he puts these paintings together. So I think the works here, I think it's, I would consider sort of world-class works. And then we've got um, we've got Joe Wonder's work here, and so Joe again, she's she's into uh, fantasy works and uh, characters and landscapes, and it's all about her unconscious mind. So again, there's like a little, little bit of a dream work going on here. So it's things about monsters and super beasts, um, giants and unicorns. This sort of um, myth and magic and a secret gateway to give wisdom. So you just, once you see, you, know, you, you can also, what she does is she has these sort of magnifying glass. So you can get up quite close and have a look at some of the detail of what she's creating here. Then we have uh, Jessie Moy's work. Um, Jessie, Jessie has a, she has an affinity with animals and particularly the feline. So anything like cats, but a lot of her work, she'll also um, she'll also have many different types of animals, whether it's wolves or whether it's cats or whether it's um, dogs. But it's like the relationship; it's a relationship between man and animal. And for this exhibition, she is produced not only alongside her female forms. She's also produced a series of cats, which you might be able to see in the next room if you come this way with me. And then we have Carolyn Bue's work. Carolyn has um, a humour that's going on with her work. She, 
again, she has the idea between man and animal, but the domestic animal, particularly always a domestic animal, sort of just displayed in some of her works. And a lot of it's about friendship and relationships. And she's depicting sort of the fun times, the merriment that you might have. Um, in this exhibition, she's predominantly got female sort of relationships here, but she does do sort of male female relationships, but she's depicting these friendships that we often have that are quite deep embedded in us, that we, we have for lifetimes. And it's that meeting together and enjoying that moment. And then you can see just here, we have one of Jesse Moy's cats called Lucy. We also have, we've had a rare opportunity to um, offer Elizabeth Price. Now Elizabeth Price is, a, is highly connectable. Uh, art, artist, well I'd say artist maker, and she's an artist in her own right in a way because her work has a sense of humour, she has a, a narrative going on with her work, every single piece is individual, um, she's, she's, her work is collected worldwide and we very rarely have any of her pieces for long, so we, we don't tend to exhibit her work, but for this time round we decided that we wanted to have greater exposure, and again, again she's depicting that moment in time, humour, um, Yes, her work is just, and a lot of it's very small base work, so it gives you the sense of the borrowers. Um, yeah, so that's Elizabeth Price. We, we enjoy her work, we have her work. So we're here, here until the 20th of December. Please come by if you can. If you can't, please get in contact with us. We'll be happy to send you a catalogue of the exhibition. I'd like to see you soon. Take care.